Gustino, can you hear me? Morning. Confirm you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, sorry, my uh, I had some technical issues here. The power went off. That's why I got disconnected. Oh, okay. Yes. So, uh, basically, uh, today I want us to talk about based on the link I sent you the notification. Uh, we are but to but about the, this, yes. But I can't get you clearly. Your voice is is a distance can you can you hear me now yes yeah yeah sorry i was saying based on the the uh, the notification you got today we are going to talk about the articles gender and uh, nouns and gender basically and i, I believe uh, you've taken your time to go through the 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 links of uh, if you realize that i've deleted the big blue button i've replaced it with the 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 YouTube link, uh, the the okay. the ZTEC, uh, uh, ZDS content. So so those link, those links you just click and then it will take you directly to the YouTube where you will get the the recorded uh, lessons we had uh, previously. In case you want to you want to review the same, okay? Yes. And uh, there are also we there is something I also posted there on the portal mm -hmm. about the days of the week, months of the year. I don't know whether you've taken your time to go through them. Okay, I'm having a problem. Yes. I, I can hear you only on the earpiece, but not on the on the speaker. Uh, on the speaker, how, from your end or? Yeah, it's like, it's like we are having a call, so I'm only listening through the earphone, uh, earpiece. So I can't hear from the speaker. I don't know what's the problem. Uh, is it something that has been on or just today? No, right now, right now. I don't know what's happening. Or I so, log out and log in again. Yeah, just try to log in. Yes. Just try, just try to log out and log in, and then you see if it is going to to so before we start kindly. Okay. Yeah. So what normally happens when someone calls you? It disconnects. Even if it even interferes with the internet, so that is why you find uh, mm. sometimes it brings that issue of uh, of the listening problem. So you will find like it is there's some cracks, you know, some echo sort of. So that is yeah. what normally that's what normally happen. Uh, I want to try to connect to with the computer. Okay. And see if it. Uh, Terminate. So, so I was asking you if, mm -hmm. if you've taken your time, you've gone through the whatever posted there, days of the week, months of the year. Did you manage? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And there is also is also the listening. So you know days of the week. Sorry. Days of the week. Yes, I've gone through them. Yeah. Can you remember? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, it's uh, Landy. Good. Mardi. Uh -huh. Macready. Uh -huh. Judy. Uh -huh. Vendredi. Uh -huh. Samdi. Uh -huh. Dumosh. D Dimosh. Oh, Dimosh. Dimosh. And Dimosh. then, and then, uh, yeah. for your information, we say yeah. we we say. Uh, we say uh we say how do we what did i want to say yes we say you say when the it is von you see the v v then e then n on so we say von ready okay so oh, bon le jour de la, yes le jour de la semaine we have lundi mardi mercredi jeudi vendredi samedi et dimanche uh -huh. Months of the year? Janvier. Mm -hmm. 
February. Mm-hmm. Mars. Good. April. April, uh huh. May. May, uh huh. Juan. Good. Juye. Uh huh. Good. Uh huh. September. 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 Uh, September. Uh huh. October. Good. November. Uh huh. December. December. De. De. December. 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 You see, December. the O N, the E M O. That's why I say September. Then we say November. Then we say de. So, so uh, we say a uh, month of the year, we have uh, Janvier, Février, Mars, Avril, May, Juin, Juillet, Août, September, October, November, de, December. Those are the, the months of the year. Remember, I told you months of the years and the months of the year, and uh, of course, months of the year, days of the week form part of the greetings, especially when you want to when you want to, to take a leave. Like you want to say, maybe see you next month, uh, see you on Thursday, etc. So it is very important for you to to note that, okay? Yes. And I believe also you've taken your time to go through the greetings. There are quite a number of greetings are posted on the portal, and of course. Uh, uh you need to go through the same just to familiarize, familiarize yourself with different forms of of greetings both formal and and informal Informa. okay yes yeah so please take your time go through the same uh because it is it is it is important for you and now um Yvonne was not yes. having a class today no, Yvonne, you know, there's no when whenever we have a class on the portal, it is yes. not possible for her to join through because you know they are separate. So, so the, the course is not appearing. The course is not appearing on her end. We had a class okay. with her yesterday. We had a class with her yesterday separately. Okay. Yeah. So until uh, maybe the 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 ZBS team uh, combine you, then uh, it yes. is possible for for her. So I'm waiting for that communication. Okay. That's why that's why it is not possible for her to to join the link. Even if I send her the link, I doubt if she will be a person to join yes. that. Unless unless I try, yes. See if if uh, if she can join, but but I I really doubt. Yes. Because, Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah, we'll try that next time. Whatever okay. we are going to do today is what we did with her yesterday. Okay. Uh, so basically, we are going to do the same thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I want to share my uh, screen, but before that, but before that, I want to, I want to talk about. So I'm going to use the, the shared note. Huh? So you know where it is. Yes. Yeah, shared note. So today, I want us to talk about the articles. So we have got uh, four types of articles. So uh, we're going to talk about articles. Sorry, we're talking about articles. Yes, articles. Like in English, okay. you say a, uh, an, and the. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so let's article. Exactly. Yes, so that is what you want to talk about today. Les articles. And when we talk about les articles, uh, there we talk about definite and indefinite articles. So let me, it will be easier for me to use the. Let me 
Loading. Les, les articles, okay? Yes. So uh, you can see what I'm typing, right? So we say, we say, uh, I want to, I'm going to dictate this. We have got, uh, there are four types of articles. There are, there are, there are four types of articles. There are four types of articles, okay? uh, namely, there are four types of articles, namely, the four types of articles, namely, now one, the first one, we have, we have what we call Laticle, Laticle, Laticle undefined. Laticle undefined. That is indefinite article, okay? Yes. Then we have two. We have article. Article definite. Then the third one we have got article. Partitive. Partitive dealing with indefinite quantity. Partitive. Then the final one is Latical. Latical. Undefinite. I pardon, Latical contracted. Latical contract, contracted articles. We are going to see that when it comes to now proportion with places, uh, when we talk about cities, countries, continents, and other places in France, okay? So uh, that is that. So remember articles are determinants. Articles are determinants, okay? They are, they are company, they are company, the noun, based on gender, and number. That's why this topic we call it articles, then nouns and gender. So once we do this, you're going to understand what it means when I talk about nouns and and gender. So so first we are going to start with we are going to start with definite indefinite indefinite articles. So what do you understand by indefinite articles? So, lattical and definite. Just like in English, when we say a boy, an apartment, a hotel, what do you understand by that? Any idea? Sorry? When you talk about a hotel, an apartment, a car, a train, a lady, a man, what do you understand by that? Because that's the equivalent of the indefinite articles in French, what we call now lattical and definite. A and an, okay. Yeah. So, what do you do? You have any 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 idea what that means when you talk about indefinite? No. So it simply means indefinite article is used to uh, to, to 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 refer to uh, something which is unknown. It can be anything. For example, when you say I'm looking for a house, meaning that you don't have the specifications. You've not elaborated the specification of the house you are looking. For when you say a boy, I met a boy. Do you know that boy? No, it is unknown. But now, when it migrates to the definite, when you where the equivalent of English now we say there, now it means there. If the, the, the thing or the person or whatever you are referring to is is known, someone has already information about what you are refer, referring to. For example, now the indefinite when you say I'm looking for a phone, it can be any any phone, you see. Yes. But when you say the phone, now you are specific the phone from unknown to known. So 
those are the two articles we are going to talk about today. The unknown, that is indefinite. The known, that is definite. Defini, define. Undefini, undefined. So that is the difference, okay? So yes. article undefini. Article undefini. So we say refers to, you can take note just for, from what I've explained, refer to the unknown, okay? It refers to the unknown. Refers to the unknown. Have you written that? Yes. So when you talk about this, the indefinite articles, let me, I think when I share the screen, it will be very easy for me to show you what, what I mean by that. Can you see the screen? Yes. Let me enlarge this so that you don't struggle to. Is that font okay? Uh, maybe a bit, a bit bigger. That's okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I've just said that articles we have got there. There are four types of. There are four types of articles. Okay. There are four types of articles. So we have talked about. Uh, I've said article and defini, article defini, article partiti. But we are going to talk about the the first two. So article uh, and defini. So we have said they refer to unknown. So here we have. Uh, let me. Uh, have a table there. So here I have masculine follow. So there we have masculine, masculine, masculine singular. Okay. Yeah. Here I have feminine singular. Feminine singular. Then here I have masculine. Okay. Masculine. Mas feminine. Plural, okay.
So when the object is masculine singular, we use what? If it is feminine, we use that. If it is plural, we use. So how do you read this one? What have I lighted? This. Which one? Remember the nestle sound, nestle vowels? Yes. So how will you read that? Uh, is it R? Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. I'm saying is it is it ah? Uh. Yes, good. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So when the object is masculine, for example, so let's start with the masculine nouns, okay? Yes. Masculine, masculine nouns in this case. So examples are the following. So you can say um, but oh, you see that yeah. you are going to understand why I say but is masculine. Huh? We say yeah. um, but oh, um, but oh. remember, we are told they are placed before before the, the noun, okay? The determinant. So, um, but oh, we say a nom, a man, but oh, is both a nom, a man, an um, double m, a nom. We say un garçon, un garçon, a boy. We say, we say an orange, an orange, okay? We say un garage, un garage. Garage, we say un bus, we say un train, un train. So you see, those are masculine what? Noun. So, they are placed before a noun which is masculine. Therefore, we simply say that if the object is masculine, or the object can be a person or a thing. So if the object is masculine, then we accompany that with what? With a. So it is a, like you say, a boat. I hope you, I hope you are getting me. Eh? Yes. We say a boat, a bateau. We say also an apartment. Let me add you that an apartment, apartment, an apartment, an apartment, an apartment, an apartment in French. Apart, apartment, an apartment, an apartment. So remember, these are determinants. So object masculine, the article you use, which is the equivalent of a or an in French masculine, then we use what? A. Ah. Now, if the object is feminine, we use what? How do you do that? Uh, still A. Uh. Mm -mm. Now, oh, remember I told you. Uh -huh. I, yes, it's uh, it's un. Yeah, yun, yun, yun. Uh. We say yes. yun. So that one accompanied the feminine, feminine, we say feminine nouns, okay? Feminine yeah. nouns. Now in this case, we use what? We use yun, okay? We use yun. Example, we have the following. Of course, you are going to understand by the end of, before this lesson end today, how will you, why am I saying apartment is masculine? Where am I saying train is my happen? So what we are going to use to, we are going to see a number of nouns and their endings, how their endings can help us to, to know the, the gender, okay? So that yeah. is something which will be of the past as we, as we continue with this lesson. So 
we say now yun yun dam a lady okay yun dam that is a lady we say yun farm okay we say yun fi a girl we say yun organization an organization okay we say yun école school yun école yun école we say yun ville a city okay we can also say yun television you see that tele television television okay we say in radio radio etc you see that so the difference is that what determine whether you use a un or the is simple we have to identify the gender of the of the noun so you cannot say and farm no that is wrong okay yep. yes and the plural form the plural form use what the the plural form simple now we are also going to know how do you how do you know whether a noun is in plural form or singular form so we say we are told if a noun ends with letter s letter s letter x or letter z those three letters if a noun ends with letter s letter x or letter z then it is in plural form but most of the regular nouns form the most of the regular nouns form their plural form by just adding letter adding letter s most of the most of the nouns form their plural forms by just adding letter 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 s but if it ends with letter s like the word bus you know in, in english you say buses but now this one cannot change you cannot add another letter s so if it ends with letter s letter if if it if, if it ends with letter s or letter x or letter z then it remains identical in the plural form the only thing which will change the only thing which will change is the is the article as a determinant but the noun will remain the same and it only remains the same only if it already ends with letter s because here you cannot add another letter s in french i believe that is clear yes so plurals so plural you can see plural they use the same across eh? they use the same plural forms yes. plural form the. meaning both for both masculine and, and feminine okay for both masculine and feminine for both masculine and feminine so we say examples of nouns we say we say for example like now uh, let's take this huh? let's take this apart more we simply add letter s at the end but now we are going to use what day so we say day we say day there's a part more with s okay now you see here you slur this eh? you slur this by s and a we are told remember when we we're talking about the pronunciation of words we were told that when you have got a determinant any with the consonant the next noun begins the voice then you slur that so we say there there's a part more okay we say there's a part more allow me to use the lower case here same to this This a part more we take for example another noun up there uh, like bus 
Now, buis, we say the, the buis. You see, we cannot add another S there, okay? Yes. We have, for example, the tram. Trains. We say, uh, now feminine, we say the ville. The ville. Cities or towns. Or we say the, the farm, women. The farm. ETC. So I believe that is, I believe that is, that is, that is clear. We can also say, we can, we can also say there's a to do. Okay. We can say, we can say there's a to students. Okay. So that is all about the indefinite articles okay indefinite articles. so coming to definite articles unless you have a question you can ask no i don't have a question so definite articles latical defini latical defini that is the equivalent of now the in in English, okay? Latical defini is the equivalent of what? The. Now, just let me, allow me to take this table, okay? Just to save time. This is here. But now I'm going to wrap this, okay? So, lattical defini, remember they are referring to now the, the noun. So, if the noun is masculine, uh, here I, I want to add another, uh, but no, I will, I will put it as a note. Huh? So, if the noun is masculine, we use what? We use le, okay? Le, if the noun is masculine, remember the, 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 the and indefinite, we use what? Ah. So from unknown to known, from a to, to le, I hope you are getting my explanation there, right? Yes. So a boy, the boy. A girl, the girl, okay? Then the feminine, we use la. If the, now we're using the definite article. If it is plural, we use what? Le, as simple as that. Kindly note that. Once you're done, let yes. me know. Yes, I'm done. Oh, okay, good. So just the same way I'd explain the, the same way I'd explain, these ones are also placed before the, before the noun, okay? Before the noun. But please note, note, kindly note this, note, 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 note that, Note that le and la become become l apostrophe before a noun before a noun beginning with a vowel or silent h. Okay. Meaning, if a noun and, sorry, and. So, le and la, meaning the, 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 the two. You see the two here? Yes. This two here. So, so, those two so here. Both, sorry? So, both of, uh, both uh, le and la, they mean they. But no, uh, the they mean. Is the, eh? they, mean? They, they mean. They mean, they mean, no. No, le, le, ela means de, not de, de. Like you say, de, not de, de. Like you say, I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the, the owner of this. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the. So when you talk about the phone, the phone is ringing. So it's a specific phone, not just any phone. It's a specific phone, which is ringing. But when, when you say a phone is ringing, you know, first we, you just had the phone is ringing, but you cannot, you don't know which phone is 
ringing. Mm. You get that. But when you say yes. the phone, the phone, you know, it is either my phone or your phone or someone's phone. You are you 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 are specific mm -hmm. about that. It is a particular phone. Okay. So under the definite articles, the most important thing also you need to note is that now when the noun is in singular form, I've not said lo, la, ele become el apostrophe. I've only identified the two. So lo, ela become el apostrophe before, before what? Before a noun beginning with a vowel or silent H. The vowel has A, A, E, O, U. Then the silent H. So anytime you come across that noun that is in singular form, then we use what? L apostrophe instead of using lo, e, ela, regardless of the gender. So in that case, for both masculine and feminine, we use what? L apostrophe, okay? Mm. So uh, let me give you examples. So plural form we use less. So examples, so, I'm going to use so you see like here, the same same nouns we used here. So how do you say, how will you say uh, the boat in French? The boat. Yeah. Uh, uh, boat. Le? Le boat. No. How do you say boat in French? Uh, it's, ba it's bateau. So yes. Le bateau. Le bateau. So you get it. Now yes. the indefinite we say un bateau. The definite we say le bateau. I hope you are getting that. Eh? Yes. Le bateau. Okay. Uh, how do you say the bus? Uh, le, le, le bus. Le bus. Le bus. Fair enough. Le bus. Eh? Le bus. We can also say le cadeau, the gift. We can say, uh, we can say also uh, le bureau office. Eh? Le bureau. Pardon. Le bureau. Le bureau. We can also say, now we say la patmo. You understand why I'm now using the L apostrophe? Yes. La patmo, because apartment will give you what? Well, we can also say, we can also say, les cargo. Les cargo is snail, okay? Les cargo. We can also say l'étudiant, you see, l'étudiant, l'étudiant student, the student, a specific student, l'étudiant, l'étudiant, we can also say l'organisation, l'organisation, now the plural form, we use what? Le. Okay. Yes. Plural form we use le, so we can say les étudiants. Yes, what we have written the, the plural form les étudiants. We can say les appartements. Les a appart les appartements with the s. We can also say uh, les bateaux, but now with x at the end. Les bateaux. Le bateau. We can say les oiseaux, birds. Okay. We can say les maisons, houses, the houses, les maisons. We can say les femmes. Le femme. Mas feminine, feminine, I've not used la, so we can say now again la femme, okay? The woman, we can say 
la dame, the lady. We can say la tante, aunt, auntie. In French, we say la tante. We can also say la television, etc. So you see, I've used, I've used the feminine, la, okay? Feminine, I've used masculine, I've used L apostrophe, I've used the plural form. So uh, that is that as far as the articles are, are concerned. Any question there? No. Understood. Eh? Yes. Good. So uh, now, having done that, uh, and I believe you've written them down, so let me change the let me change the there's a document I want to share with you very fast. So my screen is still shared, right? Yes. So there is a document I want to share with you. I believe you can see. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. Good. So we are talking about gender and number of what? Of nouns. Nouns. Gender and number of nouns. So kindly read as we move. If you need to know something, let me know so that I don't also rush you. Also, I read. Yeah. Okay, Intro, uh, contents masculine, feminine. Introduction. Yeah, so start with the masculine. Uh, okay. Where, where exactly? Yeah, just, just read this part. Huh? Oh, okay, the whole thing, okay. Identifying masculine gender. Uh, two, one, common endings, three. Masculine number. Regular forms, particularities, irregular patterns. Mm -hmm. Now, let me just explain that. That's the first part we are going to look at. So, this is the introduction involves. So, what does the now we talk about masculine? How the parts it is broken, it is broken into those three, three parts. So, the first one is the introduction to masculinity. Okay. Then yes. we are going to identify masculine gender. How do we identify now? To avoid that one because when for example when i was giving you now the the definite articles or indefinite articles with the nouns you know i know somewhat something might have been going through your mind now what helped me to know why am i saying now about is masculine so that is what we are going to look at so identify what are the things which are going to help us to identify the masculine gender are you getting me yes so under that tool we have what now common endings okay common endings then finally we are going to look at now how do we transform a singular masculine gender to a plural form that's where the number comes in okay so under that under that masculine plural in other words the plural form of the masculine gender so under that number in terms of the plural form 
we have got the regular masculines. Regular masculines, that's why I say you simply add letter S. Then we have got the particularities. There are those ones which are particular. Okay? Then there is also the irregular patterns. So the three under the masculine. When it comes to the feminine, of course, the same thing, identifying the how do we identify the feminine gender? Now, the common endings of those feminine gender that you need to master to know that anytime you you find a word which is like this or like that is either masculine or feminine based on what based on the the ending okay then we have got the particularities of the same then irregular patterns okay then feminine number of course just like the masculine number how do we transform mask uh, i mean feminine singular to the plural form and vice vice versa vice versa sorry then we have got the genders particularities so basically we are now under the introduction one so we are told a noun is a label of places things and concepts right yes yeah so read nouns may be categorized into common or, or proper counting or mass singular mm -hmm. or plural masculine or feminine yeah you see how it is written those abbreviations is, is uh, written so singular yeah. plural masculine feminine so remember when we started french i told you that french is a gender based language everything whether living or non living they are classified in terms of gender and that is why it is very very important when i introduce you to french that feature i told you that if you go back to those notes, you are going to find somewhere we we tell that it is very important to study the gender, the gender of what of nouns in in French, so that you know what you're supposed to to say. Because when we talk about the nouns, they are always accompanied by the determinants. So the determinants, one of the determinants that we have talked about today, are what the article. That's why I decided to start with the article, so that you understand. So once I say, for example, a boat, now I'm bateau. Why am I saying I'm Batu but not Yun? Yun Batu. So we want to discover more as we as we proceed. Okay. Next. Sorry. Uh -huh. It is important to recognize the gender and the number of a noun. Uh -huh. This these properties affect the form of the determiner, pronouns, uh -huh. and the uh -huh. adjecti ad adjectival uh -huh. but Particip participle agreement. Yes. Now, remember when we're talking about the, remember there is something which has been mentioned here, determiner one. One of the determinants we have looked at are the articles. Then we have got the pronouns. Now, the pronouns we have looked at, remember when we're talking about this, the, the subject pronouns? Yes. Now, you understand why gender is important. You know, you can, I, I talked about ill and egg. Remember that? Um, ill yeah. and ill and l what did we say about ill and l we say ill is masculine did we say that yes we say ill is ill is masculine we yes. say ill is ill is masculine but we say l is feminine and mm. then their plural form we also used ill and we used also l with s so that is why it is important to understand the gender. And what we say that ill and l, ill and l also means what? Means it, right? Yeah. So what will determine in French? It means it. So it is referring to something else. So what will determine whether you're using ill or l? Because for example, when I'm talking about, for example, John. John is a student. He is ill ill why have i not used l but ill because john is masculine so masculine the pronoun we use is what ill feminine we use what l plural we use what ill for both for only masculine and also a mixture of gender but l is only feminine that is when you talk about the third person singular and third person plural you cannot interchange them so what we determine or what will uh, we dictate which pronoun you're supposed to use is what is the gender of what you are referring to it is the gender and the number now when i talk about the gender and the number we talk about the gender and the number masculine singular we use what ill 
feminine singular use what? L. But now their plural, masculine use what? L with S. Feminine use L with S. Okay? Yes. Good. Uh -huh. So, and they must agree. They must agree. Uh huh. But most of most of time, French nouns are preceded by a determiner. Observe, observe. Observe the following. So, how would you read that statement there? Il a vu. Yeah. Again. Uh, it's la vie. Is is I want you to this read this. How do you read, leave alone this? How do you read this? Based on what we said, when do you pronounce a consonant, a consonant is only pronounced when there's a vowel after it. So how will you read the whole thing? Taking into consideration what we did study, what we have done as far as pronunciation is concerned. Uh S la V. Are you supposed to pronounce letter S? Is there a consonant another letter S? Uh, no, no. So how will you read yeah. this whole thing? Pet la V. Again? Pet la V. Okay, read this alone. This. Uh, I think the C is confusing me. <laughs> the? The C is confusing me. No, the C should not confuse because it's letter C. So, when you say this, this word is read as Et. Why are you saying et? Is T uh, is T pronounced? Is T pronounced? Oh, uh, it's S. Is S pronounced? When are you supposed to read a consonant? When is a consonant pronounced? Can you can you revisit? You are not where we talked about. Uh, where we talking about the vowels? We talked about simple vowels, then we went to compound vowels. So leave alone compound vowels. Just go back to the simple vowels. Simple vowel. Uh, what did we say about that? That letter E is still silent when it's followed by letter S in a word. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is not silent when it has acute accent. Mm -hmm. Letter E is not silent when followed by letter T, Z, and R. Uh -huh. And uh, yes. what about a consonant? There's something we said about a consonant. Uh, it is... Uh, the vowels which dictate the sound of a consonant in a word. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And again, is there something else we say? Uh, no, what? no. Generally, there's a, there's a statement. There's a statement there. Generally, a consonant is only pronounced when there is a vowel after it. So when you have a consonant or a group of consonants following each other or one another without a vowel, then we say those consonant or that consonant is 
is silent. So based on that, can you type in that that word now? It's a uh, la vie. Yes, say la vie, say. A. You see this, all this is silent. So we say S E C E. So c'est la vie. Okay. That's life. Yes. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. So you are told, sorry, you are told the construction C V is not possible in French. You cannot say it is life. La vie. La vie, meaning the word V is feminine. So la is what? It's like you say that's life. So the life. You are referring to the life. So it's like in the indirect translation, it's like you say it is, it is, you see that it is the life. To mean that is life. So in French, you cannot say say, say V. So this V as a noun must be accompanied by what? By an article based on the gender of that noun. And that noun is it is feminine. Okay. Yes. That's your phone, huh? Uh, yes. I hope it will not disconnect you. So, uh, can you kindly read that? Hello. Agustina, are you there? Yes, sorry, I was I was I was picking the call. Okay. So can can you kindly read what I've shared on the screen? Okay. Yeah, read kindly. Uh, the most common de determiners are articles applied for the noun. For example, la and v, and indicate uh, the definiteness. La introduces a feminine and singular noun. French articles change from change form to agree in gender and number with the noun. There is also a contracted form used before words, starting with a vowel, and the most words begin with H. Yes. Now, the most determinants are articles appearing before the noun. Articles appearing before the noun, not after. So, e.g., what you have seen, la vie. We say, if it is an indefinite, we use what? Un V because that is feminine. So just like what we had, where we had started, I did talk about the indefinite articles and definite articles. And remember I said that they are determinants which depend on the noun. So they are placed before the noun, okay? They precede the noun. So best is the noun which is going to dictate whether you're going to use a feminine 
singular, masculine singular, or either, but plural form, okay? Yes. Yeah, and remember what I say about what? A vowel or silent H, especially with the determinant, uh, that is the, sorry, the definite article. So the definite articles, I did say that low L become L apostrophe on one condition that that noun you are referring to is beginning with a silent H or a vowel, okay? Yes. Now, you see, this is just a summary of what we have, what we have done. Now, I believe you understand that better, right? Yes. So here, basically, we are talking about the definite articles. So masculine, we are told it is le. The plural form of the masculine is the same as the feminine. That's why you see they are repeated. And remember, for me, I simplified that in form of the table that I'd, I'd, I'd uh, share with you earlier. If we allow me to revisit that, you see here, what I did, I I stroke the two. So I said low L become L apostrophe. But now, if the noun is in plural form, you don't use L apostrophe, we use what? We use le. Okay. We use we use le. So in this case, you see here you are given the three options. So masculine singular is le. The plural form of the masculine is still is le. Feminine is la. Plural form is le. The vowel, of course, or silent H, L apostrophe, the two, remember, the two become, become L apostrophe before what? A vowel or silent. So meaning both, both nouns, masculine or feminine, both nouns, either masculine or feminine in a singular form, and they begin with a vowel, then we don't use le, we don't use la, we use L apostrophe, and the plural form is what? Is is lay. Any question there? Any question? Agustin, are you there? Hello. Yes, Agustino, you, you disappeared. Yeah, very sorry. Uh, yes, I'm very sorry. Yes, so I, I believe you understood uh, uh, my explanation on uh, that yes. note. Uh, yes. Here they are separated, uh, but it's the same, same thing I'd explained earlier. So that here you just told that the masculine are uh, feminine, low L become L apostle, but you can see now that the plural is repeated as, as lay, okay? 
And remember, we have talked about, and we're going to see also in this document, how will you tell whether a noun is in singular or in plural form, whether it is masculine or, or feminine, okay? Yes. Yes, so can you kindly read? Some, some examples of noun, of a noun with, uh, noun with the corresponding definite article. Continue. Read those examples. So I read the I read the examples. Yes. Uh, Lugarcon. Lugarcon. S. So L you see, let us see with that. So we see the sound is star C. So we say Lugarcon. Okay. Oh, oh, it's like S there because of that. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Remember, if there's okay. a document, you talk about the pronunciation. If you go through that document, which was explaining how the words when like was any with G I E becomes C like democracy. When letter G becomes ga, when becomes G, like now we say garage. So we are told when letter G is from letter A, it becomes ga. Okay? Garçon, yep. gato. Okay? So we say le garçon. I have the plural form. Uh, le garçons. Le ga? Garçons. How will you read that word at the end? Oh, sorry. Remember le garçon. Lega? Legarson. Are you pronouncing letter N? Uh, oh, no. Legarson. Le Legarson. So can you start? Can you start again? Kind. Okay. Legarson. Uh, le uh -huh. Legarson. Yes, you get the difference. So the yeah. boy, then the boys. You see that in English, the CS is in bracket. Eh? The boys. Yes. So meaning, if you are referring boys. to specific boys, and there are many. Like I say, like in simple terms, when I say les étudiants, les étudiants, student, students. So if I'm referring, to, for example, a student for CHTM one, okay. So I, I am with the student. I am with the student. So I know the student I'm, I'm with, okay. Or I'm yes. referring to a certain student, and it's a specific student, and the person I'm also talking to about that student knows, knows that student like now so you normally have class with mr Kemboy. yes yes so when for example you say uh i am with the student so the student i'm referring to is agustino so mr Kemboy also knows that student so i say you mean the chtm the chtm student the chtm one student and the CHTM1 student or the CHTM1 students, plural. You, you see that? Yes. Good. Uh -huh. Proceed. So remember what we also said about when we have got I, then followed by double L, the sound is letter E. As we say I in English, say, we say E. So how will you read that? that? The next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. La fille. La fille. La fi, fi. La f double L, I double L, I double L become, I double L become, become, become what? Become I and also it is like Y. Remember we said that letter Y is like letter, letter I in French, okay? Yes. Remember that? I didn't yes. want you to go through that document. Before this class end, I'm going to refer you to that document so that you go through those endings where we were saying now, when a word ends, when letter C has got that, that that uh, accent uh, said under it, then the sound is S sound, okay? So that we say this word is read as garçon. So double L, you see I, then we have what double L, those two letters. So there's, when there's letter I before double L, then the sound is Y, and Y is letter E. You know, when I say E, I mean I in French, okay? So I'm pronouncing it in French. Yeah. So it's like, I told you it's R A E O U, R A E. A, A, E, O, U, okay? So we say la fille, la fille, then the plural form is le, le fille. The girl, the girls. So we say girl, girls, okay? Uh-huh. The next one. L apartment. What's ending with the, here, nasal sound. You forgotten, huh? The nasal sound. L apartment, apartment. L apartment. I told you 
it is a, so we say la, la partment, la partment. Then la here you slide this, you slide the two s plus a becomes z. So we say les a, les appartements. Ends with the s, plural form. La partment, les appartements. Mon. Any word ending with the m e n t or e n, the sound become what? On. That we say les a, les appartements. So la partment, la partment, les appartements. Uh huh. Then here, how we do this? Remember, this letter is letter U. Uh, university. So we say uh, university. University, okay? U. So, you, yeah, because see, this letter is U. Yes. So we say university. Now, university. The, the plural form, we say le. Let's sound. Le. La université. You slide this, so it becomes les U, les U, S Z, les universités, okay? Les universités. So we say, we say le garçon, we say le garçon, les garçons, la fille, les filles, l'appartement, les appartements. L'université, les uni, les universités. Okay? Masculine what? Gender. So we are Gender. going to talk about the, the endings which will help us to know that how, how, okay, I mean, let me reframe that. What we are going to learn here is that. Okay, okay, how, let me, just a moment, take pick a call. Just a moment. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, uh, what, uh, what I wanted to say is that now we are starting with the masculine, masculine gender. So okay, the, we want to see. Uh -huh. uh, the voice has gone back to the earpiece. Let me log out. And... Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm back now. Yes, so so we want to now know or learn about the masculine gender. So the endings which will help us to identify the masculine, masculine gender. gender. So that is what we want to learn now. Okay? Yes. So can you read that? Identifying a masculine gender. There are there are there are few patterns and rules that help to identify the gender and number of French nouns. Can you read that? Can you read that again? There are few there are few general patterns and rules that help to identify the gender and number of French nouns. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, common endings. Okay. I can hear uh, you from very. I can hear you from far. 
Uh, how about now? Yes, that's fine. Okay, come on, ending. Mm -hmm. Noun A, noun, noun ending in E. With that A with, e with that acute accent. Oh, Remember A? It? Huh? Yeah. A acute. Remember that when we're talking about the when letter A is not silent. So we say yes, that yes. is A with acute accent. Huh? Yes, with acute accent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, A with ER. Uh -huh. And. Uh, is it still a? It is, it is it is e e a r. So we say i e r in English, okay? Uh huh. Uh, so yeah. Told, I e -R. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just explain that. So we are told okay. when we have nouns ending with those three, the first category. So we have different endings, okay? Different endings. So when you have a noun ending with e acute accent, e r or i e r, then those nouns are what? are masculine so how would you read that le cafe good uh -huh. the next one uh, the coffee la latte 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 <laughs> you are almost there latte lie 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 remember we told i told you again just 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 acquaint yourself with your notes with time it will come to 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 you know it will come to sync so you see we say that letter r is letter letter e is not silent when following letter r letter t letter z so that's why in this case we say la atelier okay la atelier yep. uh-huh la atelier mm -hmm. uh-huh then the next one le lina d le l D Lina is that a or a? Bustino. Oh, le dine. But how do you read that that article? Is it la or le? It's le. Yeah. So we say le le dine. Le dine. Le, le dine. Okay. Uh huh. The next category B announce ending in what? Endings in E N T. Remember, I told you E N T is pronounced as what? As on. So, can you read those examples? Just with the English part. The, I mean, the French part, I mean. Of course, I've translated them for you, so it is easy for you to understand what they refer to. Le docu document. Le? Le document. How do you read that one in French? French, French. M E N T. You are just read when do you pronounce a consonant and when is the consonant silent? I want you really to understand that. Le, 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 le document. Me or mo. The E N is what? Oh. Le document. Le document. Le, le document. Uh -huh. Le document. Le moment, uh, le, le moment, le moment, uh -huh. la, 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 uh -huh. la, 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 La patmon. La patmon. Good. Next. Words ending in. What's ending in ism? What's ending in? In ism. So, uh, can you read the, the, the three you are, you are given there? Okay, my phone has a crack. I can see the first one. Sorry? Can, can it can it go up a little bit? When I go my least, phone. when I go when I go up, yeah. it will uh, it will go to the next page. Okay, okay. I I can see okay my phone has a crack, so yeah, there. Okay. Uh, you can see no okay, let me, let me let me read the second one. Uh-huh. 
Let, let me let me help you. Can you see? Yes. Yeah. So, what actually is me? Sosia? Sosia is me. Did you pronounce letter E at the end? I suppose pronounce that letter. No, you're not supposed. No socialism. Yes, no socialism. Just, just I, I told you, just get well acquainted with your node. Especially, you see, uh, that's why we started by the alphabet. Then we went to the 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 the, the voice compound and simple, simple voice and compound voice. And I did explain when are you supposed to pronounce a consonant and when are you supposed to pronounce a consonant and when is letter E not silent and when is it not? When is it silent? So all those, when you put them together, then you'll find yourself not really uh, struggling much when it comes to reading okay so just yeah. take your time go through the same it will come to pass so we say low socialism low socialism we say le capitalism you see it is a e a e it is a e a e you see that a is so yeah. capitalism this is silent le capitalism Okay, then we say le nihilism. Okay, le nihilism. This is also silent. Ni, see, e, e, ni, e, li, zoom. Another one, there's another one that I want to add there. So you can also say le. How will you read this word? Hey. Hey. hey, which one? No. Oh, L tourism. Le tourism. Le tourism. Tourism. In French, we say tourism. Le tourism. Okay. Yes. So that is that. Uh huh. Next ending. Remember, we started with the endings with O acute accent, I, E, R, and I, E, R. Then we went to, we went to the E, N, T as the second one. The third one, we talked about the I, S, M, E. We are in the fourth one. So nouns ending, nouns ending with E, A, U, O, or E, U. Remember the word bato. Yes. It ends with E A U. Gato ends yes. with E A U. Kuto ends with E A U. Yes. Biro office ends with E A U. Now you understand why they fell under when I was giving the example with the indefinite articles or definite articles, why they fell under the masculine. Okay. Yes. yes. And remember the E A U compound voice say E A U and E is pronounced as O. So how will you read the three examples you are given there kindly? In servo. Again, you, you are breaking. Le cerveau. Very good. Uh -huh. Le vélo. Le jeu. I didn't hear Le the jeu. second one. You, 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 are, you, are, you are breaking. So can you start again kindly? Okay. Le cerveau. Good. Le vélo. Good. Le jeu. Uh, Le jeu. Le Le jeu. jeu. Good. Le jeu. Next. Yeah, we move to the next one. Most compound nouns are what? Most compound nouns are masculine. Remember, we are under the masculine gender. Most compound nouns fall under masculine. So we say le tir, le tir bouchon. Le tir bouchon. Huh? Le tir bouchon. You see, yo, how do you call it? Uh, Sorry? Opener. Bottle okay. opener, right? Yes. So that is what we call le tir bouchon. So here it is called the cork, the corkscrew. So le tir bouchon is that, uh, you know, whatever you're using uh, to, to open the 
the, the bottle, whatever it is, especially the one for, you know, uh, how you know how you open the wine, eh? that one for, for the wine, it is different. Eh? So that's what we call corkscrew. And then we say loopy knick, loopy knick, those are masculine. So we are told nouns which uh, have got what? Which, uh, which are, which are um, we call it the double nouns eh? or the compound nouns, sorry. They fall under the masculine, most of them, okay? Now, we are just talking about days of the week and here I'm also going to introduce you to the seasons of the year in French. We are told both days of the week and seasons of the year are what? Are masculine. So again, can you read these days of the week? Lundi. Le lundi, ah. Le, uh, yes, le lundi. Mm -hmm. Le mardi. Mm -hmm. Le mercredi. Mm -hmm. Le jeudi. Mm -hmm. Le vendred, vendredi. Mm -hmm. Le samedi. Le du, dimanche. Le dimanche. So we say le lundi. Le mardi, le mercredi, le jeudi, le vendredi, le samedi et le dimanche. Now, why is it that they accompany with a definite article? So, when, as you proceed with this language, you understand that in French, when you talk about this topic called l'expression de temps, l'expression de temps is a expression of time, where we have weather, we have dates, we have, you know, months, A, B, C, D. So, there are many. So, when you say le lundi, it's a specific. Monday, but when you say just Landy, Monday, so when you say Landy, it is it's like you're saying Mondays, so it's every Monday. For example, when I say Landy, je suis en class, Mondays I am in class. But when you say le Landy, it is a specific Monday, not every Monday. For example, when I say le Landy, le Landy, this coming Monday, le Landy, je suis en Nairobi. So meaning this Monday, meaning the coming Monday, I'm in Nairobi. But when you say Landi, you see Nairobi, it means Mondays I am in Nairobi. So you see the introduction of a determinant, in this case, the article is even changing the meaning of that, okay? It's breaking that yeah. what specification. So you don't generalize things. So when you say Le Landi, it is the Monday. It's like you're saying, if the literal, literal translation, we say the, the Monday. So which Monday? It is a specific, Monday, but without the article, it means it is something which is recurring every Monday. For example, when you say, like for us, we normally have class on Thursday. So we say, je dis, je suis en classe avec Monsieur Dixon. Thursdays, I am in a class with Mr. Dixon. So it means you cannot use le jeudi. You simply say what? Jeudi. So because it is something which is recurring every, every week, right? But when you say le jeudi, when you say le jeudi, Je n'ai pas cours, or le jeudi, je ne suis pas en classe, meaning Thursday, I am not in class, meaning it's a specific word, Thursday. I hope that is clear, okay? Yes. Yes. So the seasons of the year, we say le printemps, le printemps. Remember the nasal sound, I N is A. Le printemps, le printemps is spring, l'été, summer. Why are we use L apostrophe here? If someone happened to ask you, uh, because of the e, because of the e, so e is a vowel. So because of the vowel, remember we say that when the noun begins with a vowel or silent h, use what l apostrophe for both masculine and feminine. Okay, feminine. so lola become l apostrophe. Okay, we say lotum. Lotum is there. Lotum. We say liver. So this ones you can see, we are told both days of the week, both days of the week and months of the, and uh, sorry, days of the week and, and the seasons of the year are what? Are masculine. Read that. All, all languages are mas masculine. All languages are masculine. So can you read the, 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 the French one, the French part? Le Francis. Le? Le Francis. Fran... Fransa. Ah, Le Fransa. Ah, is what? Uh, no, Agustino. Ah, E. Compound vowel. E. Eh. Le Francais. Le Francais. Not Francais. Remember the nasal sound, nasal vowel. 
Oh, le, fran le français. Yes. Uh -huh. Next. Le français. Le français. Le zou. Le zou. Le zou. Yes. Next. Le, le suédo. Almost there. Oh, I switch sound. Okay, I will refer uh, you to, in fact, after this class, please go through the simple wow. vowel compound vowels. Yes, go mm. through that. Uh huh. So, how do you it? Uh, le suédois. Yes, le suédois. Uh huh. Le suédois. Mm -hmm. Le tour. Le tour. Le tour. Le tour. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Le grec. Le grec. Le grec. Le grec. Le grec. Uh -huh. L'anglois. Langlo Where is loi? Where are ah. you getting loi? La langue. Langlois. Langlois. Ah. You see what I highlighted? Yes, l'anglais. L'anglais, yes, l'anglais. So we say le français, le zulu, le suédois, le turc, le grec, l'anglais. So le plus de, so le portugais, portuguese. So we say le, le kamba. Okay? We say yeah. le kikuyu. We say le kalenjin. We say any language is falling under what masculine okay yes next uh masculine numbers number Mas the, masculine number so we're talking uh, about now the plural form so kindly read yes. the to form the regular uh, plural Add S to the end of the noun. So regular nouns, you simply add letter S to the noun. So example you are given there. Le, le to den. Le to dion. Le to dion. Le to dion. Le to dion. Then the plural is. See the S, the E becomes what? Z. The sound remains the same. Etudiant, so we say les. You see that? Etudiant, so we say les. Les étudiants. So this one, we have used les because the noun is in plural form. So you see the sim simply, you add letter S after the, after letter T, which is a consonant, okay? To form the plural form, okay? So uh, we have, uh, we are told like when you have, for example, uh, if at all I use the indefinite article, we use a, a nom. A nom. What's the plural form of that? Anome. Anome. No. No, no, no. What's the plural form of am? Can you go back to the indefinite article? Un. No. Oh, the, the, the plural. Yes. It's a uh, de. Yes, so how do you what have written there? De o me. Why are you saying o me, Augustine? Oh, there is an F. The OM. The OM, but now we say the zone because H is silent. So we say the, the zone. Okay? Yes. The plural form. Uh, the. 
the the form is la indefinite article la is there so what's the pro form of la uh it's le yeah don't confuse the indefinite articles and definite articles okay so if yeah. the article is indefinite the form must also be the indefinite form of that okay if it is masculine it is if it is definite the pro form must also be 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 definite okay The plural form is oh, that is I can see clearly it's hotel. Yes. Uh, the the hotel. The hotel. Why, is, why are you seeing that? Because it's uh, seeing, in this. Uh, uh, have I used the indefinite article? Is is L apostrophe and falling under indefinite? Ah uh, no no no. Uh, it becomes le le hotel. Yeah. So we say les hotel, okay? With S les hotel because H is silent. Remember. What's the plural form? Uh, le, le bus. Le? Le, le bus. Le bus. Le bus. Le bus. Le bus. So we have been told uh, regular ones, you simply have letter S. But remember, you see, like here, L also become what? Le. So you cannot, but you cannot put this here and then use the here. No, no indefinite, definite, indefinite, not possible. So definite, definite, indefinite, indefinite. Okay. Yes. Yes. So uh, we are told irregular nouns and compound nouns have different rules. Huh? Irregular nouns and irregular nouns and compound nouns have both different rules. Let's see. Particularities. So can you read that part? I didn't know this earlier. Uh -huh. When a noun in S, X, or Z, when a there noun? is no and the in S, X, or Z, yes, there is no dif difference between the singular and plural form. Uh -huh. Read those examples. Libras, Ali Libra, Libra, uh -huh. Libra. Now, can, can, do you, have you seen, have you noticed something? It's only the determinant, it is only the determinant which has changed, but the noun has remains there as it was, okay? And yes. this one explain what I'd explain if you remember. I told you that when the noun S with letter S, letter X, or letter Z, in the plural form, it remains there the same there's no different that's why we are told you know in case you have any noun already ending in letter s letter x or letter z they remain the same in their plural form they don't change so you can see we say le bra le bra next le gars le gars le gars next Le prix. Le prix. Le prix. Le prix. Le prix. Yes. So we say le bras, le bras, le gaz, le gaz, le prix, le prix. Okay. Now, irregular. Irregular pattern. So let me explain myself here. Irregular pattern. So if you have nouns, Ending with this, R E R E L, like this, you see what is underlined? Yes. It changes to A U, changes to what? A U X. I really need you to understand that. Changes to A U, 
AUX. AUX. So we said le travail become le, le travaux because AU becomes letter O. Le travail become le travaux, work or job, okay? When the noun ends with AL, like the word le journal, le journal become what? Le, le journaux, newspapers. Newspaper, newspapers, okay? This newspaper, this is newspapers. This is work, this is job or jobs or works, okay? Le cadeau, so here, in simple terms, let me help you. The last three is simple to understand. Now, when you have a noun that ends with a vowel, you simply add X to it, okay? You simply add yeah. X, as you can see. You simply add X. So what, what to note here is simple. Here, when you have words ending with this, it changes to what? A U X. This also changes to A U X, as you can see. More example. For example, you have the word animal. So we say l'animal. L'animal. The plural form become what? Le zanimo. You get that? Yes. Le zanimo. We are told if the noun ends with a vowel, you simply add letter X. For example, we say loiseau. Oiseau, that is a bird. Bird. Loiseau is a bird. The bird, the plural form become what? Le with X. We have la peau. La peau. La peau become le peau. Le bureau which is masculine, the plural form become what? Le, le bureau. Le couteau, le couteau become le couteau. In simple terms, anytime you have a noun ending with a vowel, you simply add letter X. Le gâteau, le gâteau, il y a accent circonflexe sur l'état A. Le gâteau become le gâteau. As simple as that. I believe that is understood. Eh? Yes. Yeah, through practice, you come to think. So, those are the way masculine form there, their plural form. Okay? Feminine gender. Feminine gender. Feminine gender. I want us to wind up with this feminine gender. So can you can you read that? Now, before you read, just like we have done the masculine, so we also want to know. So we have just a recap very fast. When you're talking about the masculine, first the endings, we we, we realize that. The ending, the first ending, any when you have words, most of the words ending with letter E, with acute accent, ER or IER, they are what? Masculine. Secondly, when you have a word ending with ENT, then those words are masculine. Again, when you have what words ending with ISM, as we say, ISM, they are masculine. Okay? Yes. Then we are told days of the week, seasons are masculine. So, so. Yes. The same way we did with masculine, now we want to see what are the endings which are going to guide us to know the, that the, the, the noun is indeed masculine. So the first category here, the common endings. So we have what nouns ending with U, U R E or U E. They are what? They are, they are feminine in this case so can you can read it remember masculine we're using either we're using low l apostrophe right now feminine we're using what la or l apostrophe because we said 
If the noun ends with a vowel, then le, be, la become l apostrophe. Just like the masculine, we say le become l apostrophe. That's why the summary, I told you that when we were, we were talking about the definite articles, I told you that le et la become l apostrophe on one condition that the noun in question ends, begins with a vowel, sorry, begins with a vowel or, or a silent h. So can you kindly read those three examples you are given there? Uh, la la ku la cha where is ah la ku la kutur is supposed to be chur any word any with the t u r it become chur la kultur so we say la culture, uh -huh. la, la culture, uh -huh. la voiture, Good. la la roue, Good. la vo la voiture, la voiture. There you did well, la voiture. So. Any word, any with U R E or U E are what? Are feminine, all of them. Nouns ending with U R E or U E are feminine. Okay? Yes. Yes. Next. Nouns ending with, noun, nouns ending in, in what? So I told you, remember how I told you those words are supposed to pronounce? I told you what's ending in T I O N S I O N produce with sound. Sion. Remember that? Sion. Sion. Sion, not Sion. The N is silent. So our N, remember the nasal no. sound, nasal sound, which I told you when you have got letter M or letter N and they spoil after after those letters, then, it, then you pronounce them from the, from the nose. So we say Sion. So read those examples you are given there. Can you see them? Uh, yes. La passion. La pa? La passion. La pa? I'm maintaining the ending. The ending. La? La passion. Uh -huh. Good. La disa. Disa. La di disa. This uh -huh. uh, dissertation. Almost. La dissertation. La disserta, ta. Dissertation. Okay. They say. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Next. Demotion. Good. The final one. La nation. La? La nation. La nation. Good. Next, when you have, in simple terms, when you have a masculine noun, then you simply add letter E to form what? Feminine. In other words, you are going to realize that most words any with letter E, as we say A in French, are what? Are feminine. So when you have got a word, you have got that acute. Remember, we are told, remember, we were told without this, omit this, we were told that words, words any with E are masculine, okay? We were told most. Yes. We were told most, but I want to tell you that we have some words ending with that, but they are what? They are feminine. feminine. For example, for example, the following are feminine. Eh? The following are, sorry, the following, the following are feminine. The following are feminine. As much as we are saying that was ending with are, are, are uh, masculine, we have some words ending with that, but they are feminine. Let me just give you a few of them very fast. So we say, we say la volonté, la volonté. We say la beauté, beauty. Okay. La beauté. 
we say la société we say la réalité we say we say uh, sorry la université université university so as much as i was saying that was any with the eaq tax center uh you see this ones they are they are in fact in fact i want to tell you on contrary what just so that most of the ones ending with eaq tax center what are masculine are we together yes uh, uh, sorry no not not masculine but feminine. Feminine, sorry uh, are feminine but not 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 the following the following are masculine not following not the following not not committee, committee, committee Député, député, we have party. So we say le comité, sorry, le. le. We also say this. Le député. Député, comité, ça c'est français. Le comité, il sait le pâté. Le pâté. So, the following is not, they are what? They are masculine. This, this three, not them, that they are what? Masculine. Are? are masculine okay yes good so let's proceed so we are told uh once ending with that accuracy some of them you only add you add the i and this one when you go to the greetings you are going to find them by the way okay to so the greetings yes. so we say can you read them kindly la martin la La Martin, Martinet, La Martinet, La Martinet, uh -huh. La Journée, La Journée, uh -huh. La Serre, La, 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 La Toi, La Toi, La Toi, La Toi, Where is Toi? Where is where are you getting T? O and I. Toa. But you say toa. Eh? I'll leave that word again. O and I is equal to toa. Wa. No, toa. What? No, it is one, not toa. Oh, it's toa. Okay. Mm -hmm. La. La soa. La soa re. Uh huh. Lide. Lide. Okay, next. Most common nouns ending with this. Actually, this is what I talked about. Sindio? Yes. Have you noticed that's what we are, are just giving you the examples here? Yes. You can see all of them ends with what? E with acute accent. But not the following. Not E acute, not E, but T with, meaning before E is preceded by letter letter T. They are feminine. Good. So can you read those? Okay, I can see from the second one. La. Let me, uh, uh, let, let me just do this. Uh, 
Jim, you can now see them. Yes. Uh -huh. La Crate. Good. La me. Just La play me. With play around. Yeah, play around just with the four wells. La me mediocrite. Very good. La mediocrite. You see, when, when you understand the voice, it's very easy for you to, to name it, to, I mean, yes. to pronounce it, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. La uh -huh. sonte. Yes. La good. sonte. Uh -huh. La pauvreté. Very good. La pauvreté. And we are done there. So this document, I've posted it on the portal. You will just go through it uh, to familiarize yourself. So feminine gender still. Most now send it with what? With I-E-R, -E. -E feminine. Examples. Most, in fact, most, what, the most important thing I want you to, to understand is the ending. The ending of masculine and the ending of feminine. feminine. The, word, the words you will understand later on as we proceed, you know. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. La pluie. La? La pluie. Remember the UE. UE becomes what? UE. UE. Yes. Compound vowels. What? U E U E U E. I can't remember U E. U E is you are not. Just check well. Take your time. Under compound vowels. Uh, I think there is no UE. This, this, this UE. Remember the word Louis, Louis, Depuis. Remember those words? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, you have it somewhere. Maybe you didn't write uh, it. But, yeah, maybe I didn't write it, yes. Yes, when I was talking about the word, even the word we, we, O U, O U, O U, O U I. You remember? We, the word we, yes. Yes, O U I yes, and yes. U I. And U I. So, see, this is the one. So, how do you do that word? La pluie. Yes. Oh, sorry, la pluie. Uh -huh. La. La pâtisserie. Very good. La pharmacie. La pharmacie. Good. La pharmacie. L'académie. L'académie. Good. Next. What's ending with what? A N S. A N. A N C E. Sorry. A N C E. Remember, A N C is pronounced as what? Ons. Ons. On. Ons. Because A N is on. Oh, so how did those examples you are given there? Larogans. Larogans. Ah, ro. Laro. Larogans. Larogans. Uh huh. Laro. Larogans. You see here, it's supposed to be on. So we say larogans. Uh, the Laro first one, I. The first one, I. I think you didn't. You could see, eh? Yes. So it is la mefions, la mefions. You will get that document. La rogons, uh -huh. then. La chons. La? La chons. C H is. Ah. La chons. Yes. La chons. 
la la vegion la vegion is la vengeance la vengeance revenge la vo we say vengeance vengeance so la vo jones okay yes next most now sending with what instead of a this one becomes what a pronounce the same as as also on sir so what's ending so we are told what's sending with i i n c e a n c e are feminine so the 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 examples you are given there la preference very good l'absence what la passion la pa la pa la passions la passion we are told when letter t is followed with letter i e the sound is we say is s sound so we say la passion sir huh? la pa la passion and then the last one la con con fr con fr la con fr la conferenzione la check check la check the wordings la conference la conference la conference la con si la con on si that part la con fe rons la conference ok then yes. most words ending with eur are feminine so can you you know eur becomes what and i told you when we have got eu eu then letter r the r is pronounced so can you can you read those those examples uh i can see from the second one yeah just go ahead la go la ca la caro la calor no o u i o u is which letter compound vowels ah no check so read them once you confirm la la cal la cala o u o u is switch the under compound vowel o u produce which letter ah no check check Oh, you. Oh. Oh, you is not O. Oh. oh, you. Yeah. Oh, you. Okay, oh, you there are. Oh, you is O. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, I was confusing the U and H as R. Uh. Mm -hmm. Can you read them? La cu. La couleur. La couleur. How is pronounced? La, la couleur. couleur. You you for you face keep this this one. La po. La por. La por. Via. La couleur. Uh huh. La Next. grandeur. La grandeur. La grandeur. Why is this grandeur? Because of the N. Huh? Oh, yes. So we say la, la, la grandeur. La grandeur. Then la the last grandeur. one. L'error. L'error. Good. So we say la pour, la couleur, la grandeur, l'error. So we are told 
words ending with E U R R also feminine. Okay. Yes. Okay, we are told most nouns ending in a double consonant, not double nouns. Double nouns, we are told most of them are masculine, but double consonant are what? Are feminine. And then we are told most nouns ending with a double consonant following by, followed by what? Letter, letter E, are what? Feminine. So can you read those words? La ville. La ville, uh -huh. La cou, la couronne. Uh -huh. La famille. La famille. Double L. I double L. I, I, I talk about this. I double L is like letter I, E, like letter Y. So we say famille. La famille. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. La famille. La dress. La, la dress. Okay. Yes. Next, right, read that. Francis are feminine. Mm -hmm. So read the, the French ones. L'anthropologie. Good. Next. La... La... Boalogi. Where is Boa? Oh, la biology. It's B E. La biology. Uh -huh. La chimie. La chiche. La chimie. Oh, uh -huh. yes. La chimie. La ge géographie. Uh -huh. La li Linguistic, linguistic. La linguistic. Remember when I talk about letter Q, U here at the end becomes letter K. So linguistic. La linguistic. Good. Uh -huh. La medicine. Uh -huh. la, me, la, me, la medicine. La, med, la medicine. Yeah. Uh -huh. La physique. La physique. Uh -huh. La politique. Good. Except. You see that? Oh, except uh, le drot. Le drot. O, o, o i is wa. Remember that. Le drot. Le droit. T is silent. You cannot translate that. T because there's no consonant. There's no vowel after letter T. So we say le droit. Le droit is low. Okay. Oh yeah. Now, feminine uh, gender particularities. So we are told, read that. Uh, when referring to a person, most masculine noun, nouns add E to the endings for their feminine form. Example. Letudian. Letudion. Letudion. Le, le to the end, le to the end. Now, you, you, I, I believe you've understood that explanation. Eh? So when you are referring to a person based on the gender, so le to the end is a student which is masculine. Are we together? Le to the end is now the same student, but now feminine. Uh -huh. Next. Le Francia. Le? Le Francais. Soit. Soit. No, 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 no. Le Francais. No. This word is really giving you a lot of headache. A I is what? Wa. A A I. A I is A. Go back, go back to the compound voice. In fact, after this class, kindly, kindly it's go uh, through. Uh, a, go through the compound voice, go through the voice. Generally, just go through the voice and then pronunciation. Okay, those two documents okay. under the alphabet and then pronunciation kindly. Yeah, okay, it will help you big time. 
Yeah, so try to read it. Le français. Le, le français. Uh -huh. Le français. La français. What's the difference? Here, uh, this S is pronounced and becomes Z. So we say le français. This S is silent, but yet it's wrong because of the reference letter E. So we say la française. Le français. La française. Okay? So that's the French person, nationality. Okay? Yes. Uh huh. Read that. Le France, le France. Ah, le France. No, I want you to read this part first. Oh, if if the masculine noun ends in e a, a silent a with a, 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 with, a, a with a cute accent. With a cute, a accent. With a cute accent. Uh huh. A silent A, known as a mute A, is added. Uh -huh. The pronunciation remains the same. Good. So can you can you read now those examples you're given there? Le fence, uh, le fence. Le fion, fi, fi on. You know this word is here. See that? What have I lighted? Yes. So say le fiancé. Fiancé. Uh -huh. The feminine. Marie. Uh -huh. the feminine. Le fiancé, the feminine of that. Oh, la, la fia, fiancé. Yes. La so fiancé. For, 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 you see the, the fiancé. So the fiancé, in, for you, you say fiancé, this, you say this, la, we say fiancé, but a lady will say what? You see, you see the difference? In red yes. writing, is the, is the different, but what you're saying is the same thing. Fiancé, fiancé, sorry, fiancé, fiancé, okay? So we say le fiancé, la fiancé. Uh -huh. Next. Le mari. Le ma. Le mari. No. I draw your attention to this. Oh, I didn't see me. Le marié. Why are you saying le marié? Because the A has a cute accent. Exactly. Le marié. Uh -huh. Le ma... La marié. So you see, a married man, we say le, le marié. A married woman, we say la, la marié. Tu Yes. Yes. Now, Irregular patterns. Irregular patterns. Now we are told when this is masculine. Are we together? Yes. You are given the masculine. So we are told, I want to combine the three. The three. You see what have I lighted? Yes. Now look at uh, the first one. When the noun masculine with R N, I E N or o n you can see the n doubles then you add letter letter e are we together yes the n anytime you find a noun any anyway, letter n so the n doubles then you add letter e at the end so for example here you say le paysan le, le, uh, le that is a farmer we say le gardien la gardienne we say le patron Le patron, la, la patron. Now, when the noun ends with a, uh, with a, with letter R, you simply add letter E to the feminine. In other words, most of the, most of the, most of the nouns end with a consonant. Are you getting me? Yes. Most of the nouns end with a consonant. If that consonant is letter N, double the N, and add letter E. In other words, add another N E. Add N E to the masculine form. Add N E, apart from the N which is already existing, add N E to the masculine form to form feminine. But if it is not letter N, it is letter S, letter T, any other consonant, you simply add letter E in most of those regular nouns. You simply add letter E to form feminine. 
like in this case we say here we say le boulanger la boulet boulanger you see in that case we have added letter e finally here here is where you want you have to be very very careful when you have a noun ending with e u r then r changes to to s e like you say le danseur la danseuse see what is underlined the r the u r e the r changes to s e then finally when you have any noun any with in fact it's very simple if the letter because this and this you can confuse them but let me make it simple for you from my understanding okay are you there yes yeah from my understanding anytime you have got letter t letter t before u r e letter t before u r e anytime you see letter t before u r e then this one is what becomes what trees are we together yes that's how you can differentiate the, the last two so you say uh, like like for example let me give you an example in that so you are uh, given their director director become director become uh, just a moment director become directrice okay then we have actor can you guess become what uh, actor actor mm -hmm. director directrice directrice actor actress okay actress okay but what of what of this chanteur this is unique chanteur chanteur become chanteuse not that chanteuse no chantries danseur become dansos feminine okay so basically that is about the formation of masculine feminine form masculine okay and these ones are basically professions or professions and professions are what are adjectives okay yeah now the rules above we are told the rules above apply to both nouns and adjectives the rules above apply to both what nouns and adjectives so many are forming adjective from forming uh, either nouns from mas masculine to feminine and or adjective masculine to adjective feminine so student so let you do let you do you have added letter letter e okay you have added letter e so paul a a to dion you see that paul is a student so you cannot say you cannot say paul a a to dion with e at the end because paul is masculine now you can see marie a a to dion because this one must be feminine because the noun here is feminine are we together there yes yeah. good now feminine number in all these cases the plural is formed by adding simply letter s remember masculine you are given different masculine you are given the varieties depending on the ending but in feminine you simply add letter s to form what plural are we together yes yes so let to dion les étudiants les étudiants les étudiants la directrice les directrices la danseuse les danseuses okay any question yeah. no question uh, just a minute
gender particularities as we wind up. So we are told here, some nouns ending in letter E that refer to people have the same form for both masculine and feminine. In these cases, the article clarifies the meaning. The article clarifies what? The only thing which is going to change is what? Is the determinant. Now, remember I told you, if at all you can recall, that if the noun ends with letter E, just E with not acute accent. Remember there's E acute accent, that's different. When the noun ends just ends with letter E as A in this case, it remains the same as across both genders, okay? So yes. it, it, it means it, it refers to both masculine and, and feminine. So the only thing which will change is what? Is the article. So you can say le revolutionnaire or la revolutionnaire. So like now a uh, the revolutionary man or woman. Le tourist, la tourist, as you can see. So when the noun already ends with letter E, there's no need of adding another letter E there. But remember the rule applies when we have what someone any with acute accent you add letter e to form what feminine so you have to know all those all those variation when it comes to the formation of what of masculine uh to feminine or feminine back to back to masculine okay now some nouns only exist in the feminine form meaning whether it's a man or a woman so we say la victim that is the victim okay because you see, it's already end with what? Letter, letter E again, right? We say yeah. la person, la person, man or woman, the person, okay? Last but not least, some nouns denoting professions exist only in the masculine form, meaning they cannot, you, you don't have the feminine form of that. Like you say, the medicine. So the medicine is the doctor. So when you talk about the word doctor, doctor can be a man, can be, a woman. I a hope woman. you are getting the, 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 the explanation there, right? Yes. Le juge. Le juge can be a man or a, a, woman. a woman. So some profession only exists in the masculine form. So this one, we don't have the feminine form of that because they cut across the, the, the gender, okay? The only thing you can form there is the plural form by adding letter S. But now adding, I don't know, it transforming it to form, now feminine it's not. It is not possible, okay? Now, note, in these cases, feminine nouns are sometimes formed by placing femme, woman, in front of the word preceded by an article as a determinant. I repeat that. In these cases, feminine nouns are sometimes formed by placing the word femme. Femme means a woman. Okay, in front of the word preceded by an article as a determinant. Like we say, infirm medicine is a female doctor. Just like you see, let me take you back. Here, sorry. Here we say le médecin. Le médecin. Are we together? Yes. So we are told you can put the word farm before before the profession to refer to the female doctor. Are we together? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we are being told. Uniform medicine, a female doctor. Unisage farm, a midwife. Unisage, unisage, a midwife. So inside farm. So some other nouns denoting profession only exist in what? In the feminine form, like a midwife. So we say inside farm is what? It's a maid, a midwife. C'est tout pour aujourd'hui. Au revoir, monsieur. Merci. Merci. Yes, Merci. that's all for today. Thank you so much. I believe you learned something. And uh, yes. it's upon you now to go through the documents. And uh, remember the class is recorded. And uh, just like I said, uh, you know, uh, now oh, we I'll be, you will have that big blue button for some time. Then it will be. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will upload it on the 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 Zitec uh, University YouTube channel. And what I will do, I will put the link there. So you will see. Uh, you, once I delete it, I will replace that with the with a link, a link from the YouTube channel. So still, you will be in a position to access those those recorded lessons. Okay.
okay. in case you want to refer to anything. Anything okay. you want to add or you want Nothing. to say? Uh, no. Okay, okay. So thank you so much for today. Uh, go through your notes. You know you've not done your cut. And uh, I think as at, at now, uh, next week we'll see, we'll do now the, the, the French, um, how would we call them, the auxiliary verbs, uh, nationalities and profession, and then from there we'll tell you the way forward, okay? Okay. Yes, so please just go through your notes and uh, I've challenged you, go through the alphabets, especially the vowels, eh? the, so, the same vowel, compound vowels, and then there's a document there which is written pronunciation of words, okay? How do you, the French pronunciation? So go through that simple well, compound well, and then French pronunciation, and I believe uh, you will uh, you remind yourself about so many things that we have talked about, okay? In the case of yeah. any challenge, you are free to reach me uh, through WhatsApp or any other form of communication you like to reach, okay? Yeah. So, so have a good afternoon, and I'm sure you've not eaten, so we say, Bon appetit. Enjoy your meal. Okay? Yes. Yes. Bon appetit. Okay. Merci. So that marks the end of our lesson today until next time. Okay? So this, the lesson is adjourned until next week. So we say ah. Uh, a jodi, okay? Au revoir.